Hello, my name is James Dean. I'm the CEO and founder of HRC Online, and you're watching this video as an introduction to the CIPD Level 3 qualification and how we approach the CIPD Level 3 qualification as well. So to start with, let's look at who the Level 3 qualification is ideally designed for. Well, it's designed for those that are new to HR and L&D. There is no HR stream, there is no L&D stream. At Level 3, we combine everything together so that we can really peak your interest and give you a foundation in both HR and L&D. We're looking to formalize your experience with a qualification. You're wanting to progress your career or you're looking for a solid foundation. That's ideally who level three is designed for. You may be a line manager and you're wanting to upskill yourself in HR process because there is a lot of devolvement of HR process to line managers nowadays. Therefore, this will give you a good foundation in both HR and L&D so that you're able to offer support and you're able to offer to help people who are studying um, or working, sorry. Now, just for your information, HRC are a fully approved and registered CIPD Level 3 provider under Centre Number 1170. We are approved to mark, grade and deliver this qualification to you in an online on-demand forum. So we've gone through all the CIPD approval process. So when we give you this advice and we give you these tips, this is what has been approved by CIPD. And we go through their moderation process process where they check our work on a regular basis every quarter to ensure that we are providing the best in class service that CIPD expects from their approved centres. Now how long is the course? Well the course is approximately six to nine months for a level three qualification um, and it's designed that way so that you're able to sort of get through it in sort of half a year to three quarters of a year focus. When it comes to HRC online we give you 18 months access as opposed to the six to nine months. Not because our course takes longer, not because it's harder to get through our qualification, but we understand that work can get busy. You may want to go on holiday. There may be something going, someone might be getting married. You may have to help family with something and you may need to pause study for a period of time. By giving you this extended access to our course, we know that you can drop the course, pick up the course, drop the course, pick up the course, and still make it through within 18 months, as opposed to setting you with unrealistic time expectations and then charging you even more money for extensions and, and elongated accesses, as others do. This is not the game that we play. We believe online learning has to bend to your life. And therefore, if you've only got two hours a week to allocate, to study as opposed to the five that's recommended well that's fine our course will work within that two hours because we give you almost double the amount of duration as anyone else and that's why 18 months is so critical to us when it comes to your studies now in terms of support that you get you get access to two sets of support with hrc in line with to start with we give you someone called a learning engagement mentor the learning engagement mentor is an academic mentor they help you build and design a study plan so that you know what allocate of time you want to give per week, how you're going to go through the qualification, how you want to attack this qualification, what your peaks are, your lows are, and they work with you on a plan. They also understand academic structure, referencing, formats, citations, anything that you're worried about, they know how to get you through that core element of it, because that's what they're designed there to do. And you have access to an open calendar, a Google Meet calendar, so whenever you hit a wall, whenever you're confused, whenever something doesn't make sense, if something in the VLE isn't working and you don't know what you've done, you can just book in their calendar, 20 minute slot to go over any elements that are confusing you or worrying you. The learning engagement mentor is designed to support you do the best that you can possibly do. And so that you don't hit that wall when you're studying, there's nothing worse than going, I'm stuck don't know what to do. I know I'll email customer support and then you're waiting for a day, two days, three days for someone to get back to you. If you're able to just look into a calendar, book in a time slot and you know you've got it done, you've got it boxed off in your head, you're able to move forward, you're able to progress going, I got stuck here, but I know I'm going to get an answer because I've got it booked in and therefore I'm going to go do this. And it may be more study, it may be might take some time off. Either way, you know when the answers are coming as opposed to just sitting on tent hooks. And then normally when you get the response, to the question you've forgotten what your question was to start with and what the answer means in relation to it and you and you find yourself struggling a lot more now the other thing we do offer is one-to-one -one tutor support and this is done via the learning engagement mentor so if for example something's not making sense and you can't make head and a tail of it 
or anything like that, you're able to book in half an hour slot, again, in Google Meet with our tutors whenever you need. You can do it as many times as you want, and they're fully qualified learning coaches designed to support you through the entire qualification. They work with you step by step all the way through the qualification to ensure your success. So not only do you get a learning engagement mentor to ensure that anything you're worried about not having studied in such a long time is answered, you also have access to the calendar of a tutor so that if you really need some academic support, you've also got that there as well. And they're the two bits of support we provide you that nobody else in the market does to ensure that you're getting the most amount out of your qualification as you can and to help you make the qualification bend around your, your life as opposed to you bending around the qualifications life, which is one of our biggest focuses, especially on this level three program. Now, this kind of feeds into what I was saying, which is your weekly study commitment, whatever you have free. What most people won't tell you is that qualification is made up at level three, it's made up of four units. And those units have a uh, guided learning hours that a centre has to submit to CIPD and everyone has to submit the same amount of guided learning hours. It's dictated to by CIPD. They also have to provide you with the amount of uh, TQT, or total qualification time. So every single qualification is the exact same duration. Nobody's is longer. Nobody's is shorter. Everyone has to go through the same amount of hours. It's just how you cut those hours up, whether you do five a week, four a week, three a week, two a week, one a week. And what we say is if you're trying to make study bend around your life so that you can fit it in and you don't have to sacrifice anything, then whatever you have free will find the slot of how we put education in there, how we put training in there, how we make the level three work around your life. That is what we should be doing. That is the right thing to do. So that is the commitment that we've got. That is how we deliver our weekly study commitment. That is how we deliver our level three. We make it bend around your life, not make you bend around our timetable and tight deadlines so that we can end up charging you more money because that's impractical. And as I mentioned, what you need is a plan. And that's what the learning engagement mentor does. The first meeting that you'll ever have with them, they will try and help you build a study plan over a month period of time. So you can go on month ends here it gets really busy here i've got this over here i've got a few weddings here i've got this over here i've got christmas coming up here i really want to take christmas off right so we've blocked off everything that we've got we've got these slots here so if we try and work this first unit within this month and a half and then if we we take a break for two weeks and then we move on to the next unit let's build you a study plan that gets you completed well within 10 months which is your ideal study duration that's why we have these engagement mentors to build you a plan and to hold you accountable to your own plan so that you've got someone that's dropping you a text, making a call, booking a face-to-face -face Google Meet with you to go, how are you getting on with your plan? How do we need to bend it to make it work better for you? What's thing? At what point do you need me to put the pressure on you? And that's how you need a plan. Next, in terms of what we learn, well, the CIPD level, level three has four units, behavior, culture, and changing context, principles of analytics, core behaviors for people professionals, and then there's a big unit which is called the essentials of people practice and they're the core things that you will learn in this qualification so you will learn pretty much anything the foundational knowledge that you need for hr and lnd whether it's onboarding recruitment analytics culture change uh, as well as all the theories and, and structures that, that go with that so much cipd re re research that goes into this as well which we make available to you as you study so there's, there's going to be loads that you're going to learn over this uh, foundation and it really does give you a great grounding in knowing how to be a great manager as well as how to be a great HR professional. What do you need to pass? Um, and, and I've put two here, which is a low pass. So to explain how this works is if we take a CIPD uh, unit, is if you take the first unit, which if we take the business culture and change in context, that is made up of nine assessment criteria. Now, each assessment criteria is basically a short question that connects to that whole unit. And that short question is around about 275 words that you need to write to answer that question. That's your word count and your word limit. So you have 275 words to answer that question. Uh, it'll be a verb like explain, and then it'll talk about elements. So it'll give me two elements, ex explain two elements of change in culture. You'll use some referencing, you'll use some citations, and you'll build your answer. Now, if you 
get a really good answer it's really comprehensive it's brilliant and you go into detail and you show how you're able to connect it all together you might score a four and get a high pass if it's not as good you might score a two and get a low pass um and if, if it's completely wrong you may get a one and at some point you'll probably get a one in the qualification it's it, it's normal thing you have to score a two on every single question so unit one, nine questions, unit two, nine questions, unit three, nine questions, unit four, I think there are nearly about 15 questions. And you've got to score a two on every single one of those questions. You've got to get a low pass as a minimum on every one of those questions. Now, in CRPD assessment terms, there is no, you've passed with distinction, you've passed with merit, you've passed. You have either passed or you have not passed, not yet passed. And when you get a one, you get feedback. This is what you've done right. This is what you've done wrong. This is what you need to change to improve it. But we're not gunning for force on everything. We need to get you to pass and we need to help you to pass. And ideally, we should be going for threes. And where there's an element that really piques your interest, you may get a few fours. But as I said, when you finish the qualification, you either get the certificate and that's it. There is no merit, grade, distinction, 2 one or any of that. None of that exists in the CIPD world of level three. It's either you, you get the certificate, you've passed, and it's as simple as that. Do you need CIPD membership to study CIPD level three? Yes, you need membership. A lot of the content that we use within HRC Online is connected to the CIPD research and planning, and you need member access to be able to see it. So, yes, you need membership to get the certificate. You need membership. You need student membership. Everyone has to get membership. You need membership. Why HRC Online? Um, well, if you're, you're here on trial or if you're watching one of the recordings, it, it was a couple of reasons, and, and I've got five for you. Um, we give you 14-day free access. I don't want anyone on a course of ours who hasn't gone through our free trial. And the reason for that is I want you to feel comfortable in our online system. I want you to feel comfortable with our approach. I want you to feel comfortable with how we approach this study. I want you to feel like you're going to be successful before you give us any money. And that's really important because I'm not just here to collect a load of money for online learning by selling the, uh, a course at the lowest price. I'm here to get people who I can help complete the qualification. And I don't want to set you up to fail. I don't want to take your money and then not be able to work in our online environment and then go, okay, well, I've just wasted 17, you know, 1800 pounds enrolling on this course. We give you a 14 day trial, use it, use it like you would if you were enrolled. And after 14 days, if you do enroll, well, you just carry on, don't you? You've got 14 days momentum behind you. We do something which is called assessment-focused learning. CIPD changed their assessments quite regularly. And they changed the assessments to make them relevant, to avoid plagiarism, to avoid people cheating. Uh, so questions may go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 1, 7, 4, 6, 9. We arrange our content in the structure of 1, 7, 6, 4, 9, if that is the current thinking of CIPD. And the reason we do that is so that you can have those little moments of study where you go, I've got an hour's worth of study, so I'm going to study for this assessment criteria and I'm going to write the answer to this assessment criteria. And then at least I know I'm making slow, intermittent progress as I go through the qualification. Instead of being in a situation where you study for a month, then you finally look at the assessment and go, oh, crap, I've forgotten everything that I'd already started studying. We make it so that it's little and often, and if you need to park study for a little bit, you've not lost all this progress. You've not lost everything that you've learned. We focus on the assessment and we focus on giving you small elements of learning so that you can build your assessment over a longer portfolio. And if CABD changes the assessment so that it goes 17962, we will give you the content in 17962 so that it all makes sense to you and you're studying the assessment as you go and you're writing the assessment as you go. We also have current affairs focused content. We do something which is called Let's Talk HR, where we've got over 45 different specialists in different walks of life working in HR at this moment in time, giving you their thoughts, their insights, their knowledge um, on particular issues, whether it be onboarding, men's health, women's health, uh, change, uh, learning and development, different mo modes of learning and development. They all come together and they share their knowledge and their expertise freely for anyone that wants to know them. And then we cut that content up and we put it in our learning platform. But the reason we do that is a syllabus comes out in and gets changed every seven years. Now the CIPD syllabus came out before COVID. Now CIPD have obviously changed your assessment. They've looked at COVID and everything like that, but the world has changed multiple. And now I could 
as a training center if I if I went live before COVID, not really change much apart from the order of the assessment, and I would still be relevant and accurate. The reason we do this is I want people that are going through current change, current design, current issues, current thinking. They're they're challenging their beliefs, they're challenging others, they're challenging me. And all these thought leaders that give their time so freely ensure that you're getting not just academic passes, but knowledge that will actually give you tools and expertise to attack certain problems in your business so that you can apply the learning immediately, as opposed to learning and then thinking, well, how do I take what I've learned and apply it into the workplace? You'll have a range of experts telling you, this is how I do it. This is what I do. This is how I approach it. Now, this has given us multi-award winning in design, those two elements. Um, myself I, I was proud enough to be named as H, one of hr magazine's most influential thinkers of 27 uh, 2023 i was ranked at number 17 this year which was a big surprise um i've also been recently just given the badge as one of linkedin's top training voices again this is all because of how we're talking about how online learning should bend around your life how it should be assessment focused how you should be using current affairs within online learning to give you applicable knowledge that you can sort of take straight away um and the final thing we do is we do free study skills professional study is very different to when you studied at school when you studied at university um when you studied a lot of things this is an assessment qualification so you can make incremental progress and build the sum of the whole because of how it works so you don't have to study for ages and then do an exam you don't have to do a lot of research write a massive dissertation and pull together a whole load of research and you have small questions that you've got to answer on a constant basis, references, citation, structure. And we make sure that you go through the study skills first so that you feel confident in how to study before you start studying. The more confident we can make you about how to study, the more, the less sort of fear you have of the actual study itself. So we give you the free study skills. It comes with anyone that enrolls with us. There's all the resources that we've built up on that completely free for you to study as, as you're going through. It's also available on the 14 day free trial. So even if you do the free trial and just get the study skills, you're getting double the benefit. So there are some reasons you should study with HRC online. We try to make a course that will really sort of change how people think about online learning and how they think learning should fit around their lives and how we should bend to your will as opposed to you bending to ours. Um, now to say that, that we've also got a lot of what our students say and you can see detailed feedback on our website about every element of the course that we put together we do an annual survey and we make it publicly available for everyone so that you can see exactly what people think of every single element of our course we've got a 9.4 out of 10 for value for money for our qualification i'm going to leave these quotes up for you so that you can have a read of them um before we end this i just want to thank you very much for either enrolling on our level three or inquiring about our level three this is one of the most exciting developments that we've had in 2023 launching this new level of qualification with CIPD. Thank you very much for listening to me and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.